guys, welcome to the news desk here. Today we got another round of toy news for you. Some interesting stuff going on, so let's jump right in. What do you say? Maybe get all crazy eyed on you. First up, from PPW Toys, we do have new Mr. Potato Heads made in collaboration with Hasbro. They are starting out here uh, this time around with a classic Batman. Now, they've done the Dark Knight Batman, you know, movie-inspired whatever, and they've done Superman and Wonder Woman. Now you're getting that classic Batman look from the 60s and 70s for fans of that. Also, we've got that classic Joker now as a Mr. Potato Head. So those of you, you know, looking for that that spot on your Mr. Potato Head shelf that's just been sitting there empty, looking for that, you know, last little piece to finish it off, here you go. These two Potato Heads will do you right. Next up, Play Arts Kai was at the Tokyo Game Show and they showed off a bunch of stuff in production. Uh, I don't think there are any firm sales days yet, but you can see first up we do have a Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. Uh, this one uh, has, you know, obviously all the points of articulation you come to expect. Also has a second head and a different style of hair. So you can either have the hair flowing in the wind or you can have it coming straight down. Uh, they've got, you know, the visor up and the visor down. Extra pair of hands. She's got a hand with a handgun in it. So lots of uh, choices there with Catwoman. Uh, we also got the uh, Batman from Dark Knight Rises. They've been doing a lot of different Batman over the years, so this is another Batman for you to add to your collection of Play Arts Kai Batman. We've got a Bane, movie-inspired Bane coming. Uh, no word yet on whether or not the mask comes off his face. Um, you can only guess at this point in time, but otherwise, looking pretty good. That one's fully painted, ready to go. There's a uh, Dark Knight Joker coming. So for those of you wanting more Joker stuff uh, from, uh, you know, the character, there you go with that guy. And there's also a Harley Quinn to go with it. Now, there was no Dark Knight, um, you know, movie version of Harley Quinn. So this is obviously coming from another source, probably the, the uh, Arkham City game, uh, something along those lines. But it's going to fit, same scale and everything like that. So you might as well, you know, pick up a Harley if you're picking up a Joker and just say that they belong together. Why not? And now, this one I found pretty interesting. They are actually doing a Dark Knight Batman based off the Dark Knight comic book, not the movie. So from that Frank Miller inspired comic book series uh, currently being turned into an animated two-part feature from uh, DC Home Video. Uh, now you can get a Play Arts Kai version of that version of Batman. So that's actually pretty cool. Something to look forward to there. Now, if you saw It Figures this week, we talked about a whole bunch of Mortal Kombat stuff coming out. I'm not going to recap it all there, but they did release a new photo of this reptile six-inch figure that they're working on. Um, so, it, you know, Mortal Kombat fans, David Vonner's down there now, so hopefully he's, you know, cleaning some of the problems in production that they've had in the past, uh, and, uh, you know, we can only look forward to seeing how this one actually turns out. It may not be too bad. Also, the uh, new Thundercats toys you've been waiting for, this isn't really it, but if you're going to New York Comic Con, you will be able to pick up a Slythe Mini Mate. Uh, will be available at the show, and you know this is probably going to be among the last of the uh, toys you're going to find since, you know, I mean the cartoon is basically canceled. It's not canceled. They haven't officially canceled it yet. Yes, but everybody who's working on the show moved on to other projects. They haven't ordered new episodes. Nothing's been written. Nothing's in production. Nothing's in the works. The show's dead, guys. Time to move on. But Mini Mates hooking you up with some new uh, Thundercats toys. Now. I don't know if you've heard the big news or not, but Furby is making a return in time for the holiday season this year. Yes, Furby. Those of you who, uh, you know, about 10 years ago, I guess it was, you remember Furby was the big smash toy hit. Everybody had to have a Furby. Furbies were going nuts. Banned at the CIA, though, because it recorded your audio. Nonetheless, though, Furby is going to be available this time around. He's got the uh, LED eyes uh, that can you know move around and react. He's got more points of articulation, more motors in there. And they have an app for currently it's on iPhone, iPod Touch, and, and, and uh, iPad. Will be coming to Android later, but allows you to interact to uh, translate what he's saying. You can feed him. You can do whatever with your Furby that you want to do because obviously anybody watching this show is a huge Furby fan. 
I'm sure. And finally, just in time for PowerCon, Funko sent out these images of upcoming Wacky Wobbler bobbleheads. This time around, of course, Masters of the Universe uh, is getting their due. This is part of the anniversary line. They've got that anniversary logo on it. And uh, starting up, your first wave is going to be He-Man. Uh, Skeletor, which, I mean, makes sense. He-Man's main villain. You've got Orko, who is... I mean, if you had a number two to go with He-Man, uh, you know, Battle Cat, maybe, or Orko. I mean, it just kind of makes sense. And then Beastman, because I guess they figure Beastman is Skeletor's number two. And as far as between, you know, a number one and a number two, Beastman's a number two. That's all I got to say about that. Now, as I said, PowerCon's going on right now, and our very own Jobber is there. He's there with Suzy Q, and here he is running into another forum member, Pink Slip X84. Is that right? Pink Slip X84? Yes. And so there's Jobber and Pink Slip X84 for you. They are at PowerCon, so make sure you stay tuned to jointheforums.com, the official forums of the Pop Culture Network. Jobber has already made some interesting poses with He Man. Uh, you know, laying seductively on the bed, looking out the window. What, it wasn't seductively? That's not what it was supposed to be? Eh, you know, you see He-Man laying on a bed. You think it's seductive. Regardless, though, Jobber's going to be there, so make sure you check out jointheforums.com. Check out his journeys at PowerCon. Don't forget, if you want to contact us, you can do so. You can call our 24-hour voicemail line. Check out our Facebook page. You can follow my Twitter. You can find us on LinkedIn and MySpace and branch out and if, if there's a social media outlet we're probably on it not pinterest though do we need to get on pinterest it seems more like a girly thing i don't know anyway guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time